Hello, welcome to the Foreign Matters video blog titled, Verily, You Are Ranting. It's a bit longer than usual, but blame Al-Qaeda. I always wanted to call Foreign Matters the rantings of a madman, but funnily enough, my head of news said no. So it was with interest I read the latest missive from the Al-Qaeda number no. 2, Ayman al-Zawahiri, this week. Released by Al-Qaeda's video wing, As-Sahab Media, it was titled, The Crusade Sets Its Sights on Sudan and it lasted 17 minutes. This won't. Mr. Zawahiri, the brains to Bin Laden's Che Guevara figure, began, Oh my Ummah, fighting has become a duty, so stop ranting. I wonder if he talks like this in ordinary conversation, if he comes downstairs and says, Verily I want cornflakes this morning. He continues, Haven't you seen the tyranny of the Jews? So why the dispute and butting of heads? He means the arguments within the Ummah, or the community of believers. Now that's rich coming from a man who wrote a letter to Al-Qaeda in Iraq, saying Zakawi really ought to lay off slaughtering the Shia, as they could be dealt with later, after the Americans have been defeated. There's some poetry. To all Muslims, O oh billion, where are you when the wounds call you? Give us one million from one billion, the creme de la creme, from every thousand, just one to fight with them in every field. And then into the real message. He has a go at the International Criminal Court for issuing the arrest warrant against Sudanese President Umar al-Bashir. He's not defending the dictator, far from it, but argues that the world is using the court and the slaughter in Darfur as an excuse for foreign interference in Muslim countries. It's a clever move. It does speak to a wide audience. And then there's some advice. Oh, you who believe, take not the Jews and the Christians for your friends. But that was just an aside. The message was for the Sudanese people to rise up and overthrow the Sudanese regime before taking on the Zionists. The man's obsessed with Zionists. So make preparations by training, equipping, storing and organizing for a long guerrilla war, for the contemporary crusade has bared its fangs at you. There's a reference to the Mujahideen, every day grabbing another place from the Crusader coalition and the treacherous puppet government. I suspect he means the news that the Taliban has taken Swat Valley in Pakistan. He says the Mujahideen is establishing the rules of the Sharia. Now, by coincidence, I chaired a program last night and Sharia law came up. One guest, Ajum Chowdhury, argued that nothing in Sharia could be negative because it came from Islam. We showed him a piece of film, Sky Shot in Swat, this week, of a man being flogged by a bloke in a balaclava after a Sharia trial in which there was no defense. He stuck to his guns, or should I say he stuck to his whip, and he further argued that most British Muslims wanted that sort of thing in the UK, at which point another guest guffawed and then told him he was talking rubbish, only to be told that he was an apostat. There was a nice flourish by Zawahiri at the end, not of the program. We tried to book him, but we couldn't get in touch. A people without a creed is like leaves driven by the wind. And when the night is at its darkest, then dawn is at hand. Oh, my Ummah, fighting has become a duty, so stop ranting. The one who wastes time and rests doesn't win. He sounds remarkably like the SAS there, who dares wins. Perhaps they should meet and discuss it. That's Foreign Matters. See you next time.